I'll just start. Best UFC knockouts of 2022 so far. I'm going to imagine I've seen some of these already. I don't know how many cards I've missed so far this year, but not that many. And then from here, he a cheeky hook, if you will. A cheeky one. Oh, I'm liking Blades. Well, that and I think Heavyweight's one of my favorite divisions. Mm. This ball right in the eye socket falls face forward. Dogs is still in it. Oh. It sounded nasty. It's a sickening throw. Mm. He started with the left hook, went to the body, and once he started hitting the body, you saw him chop Kelly down. From that point on, he's just so accurate. He barely missed. He is accurate. As well. He's hanging out on the back of that. With this one, I think that Jang had him out with the first right hand. Look at this. He's out. He was an underdog on this one as well. Powerful. He's done. Is that five uppercuts? Madre mia. It was the one before that, though. That was already uh, after Bison was hurt. When he came into contact, repeat up a customer in close. Lesson to you young fighters. Don't think because you're in the clinch. Done by Fialyu. Yeah, as a fighter, you want every Ooh. opportunity to, you know, get back. Uh, uh, 40 40 left, I think this one was beautiful. Spin. Left elbow, right elbow, standing KO. Oh mm. Most damage, and that's where we needed to see Wynn do the most. Look at the way he catches the hands and mixes in the double elbows. I mean, that's two elbows in a row. Three. Shit. It's two. Oh. He got up to that sounded like a seven iron connecting with the golf ball. Sheesh! Boom! Just flat as dark as. Look at. Let's listen to it. Oh my gosh! When you hear that, it's like hitting him. But any shots. Oh, beautiful. Amazing. Look at that. Boom! Lots of torque, lots of speed, lots mm. of power. To doubt himself now. You can see the look in the eye. I don't know these two. He's keen to engage in this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nice combo. And the fourth one. Four on the button. Four punch combination. Body head. Boxing fundamentals, as he said. Oh avoiding those big shots, but his hands are dropping as he backs up. Oh. oh my god! Oh. Have a look at it. Here we go. It was a counter Ooh. check hook as he's sliding back. He just lands a bomb of a right hand. Yeah. Right Good job. Look at this beautiful counter right hook right on the top. Chinese man. Chinese man. Kim is a Korean last name. Just the edit, probably. He was the last Korean fighter to get invited into the competition. He couldn't believe he was gifted the opportunity, and look how much. Wow. Oh. And Luke is making him pay for that as well. Oh, oh, oh. oh. right on a button. <laughs> Shoot the oh, 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 now. That's enough. Luke. This shot, this giant right hand, and then the one that followed up. Wow. I mean, I think that's a. But Biggie Boy thought. Whenever I watch this fight, I oscillate between thinking the stoppage was good and it was a premature stoppage. Let me know what you think. But a few years ago, I watched Herb Dean on the JRE podcast, speaking about everything that goes into refing a fight and stopping a fight. And there's a lot more elements that I hadn't considered. Anyway, this channel is called Kiasov Videos. They put out MMA compilations. I'll link it for you in the bio, but this one was a subscriber request. So thank you for that. And in the past, when I've put out MMA related videos, I had comments, but mostly DMs and emails along the lines of, this is barbaric. How could you watch this? How is UFC a sport? That question tells me everything, but I'll answer that now. So UFC is just a promotion. MMA is the sport, mixed martial arts, and they implement techniques from different disciplines of martial arts, from jujitsu to judo, Muay Thai, boxing, wrestling, sambo, 
etc. Essentially, it's grappling and striking techniques. And what do I like about it? I think it's a pure display of grit and perseverance, respect, discipline. And to even get signed into the UFC, you need a very high level of fight IQ, which is why you'll rarely see two fighters get in there and just wildly throw in the first round. They're calculating using problem solving techniques, strategy and planning, risking a position to possibly get a better one. And then when the bell rings, most of the time they show respect to their opponent. In my humble opinion, martial arts teaches positive lessons that apply to life. So if you just see two people in a cage trying to hurt each other, I don't think you're looking hard enough, respectfully. Anyway, I don't have a literary recommendation for you. So if you have a book that relates to martial arts that you want to recommend to me, please do. And that's all I've got to say today. So let me know what you think about any of this. And as always, thanks for watching with me.